Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to start up the engines of your 320 uh, using basically an external air source, an air starter which is basically like a big truck which uh, provides compressed air into the bleed system of a plane and thus you will have uh, air pressure that will allow you to start the engines. It's pretty much the same thing as the APU power does, but instead of using compressed air from the APU, you will use one external uh, source of pressured uh, air. A uh, few things to consider as usual. Make sure that you're parking, uh, that your plane is parked, you have the parking brakes set or you have the chocks, uh, that the engine master switches are off and that the engine mode selector is uh, set into normal and of course that your throttles are set to idle then on top of that if you haven't make sure that if you haven't tested your uh, fire systems uh, it, this is a good moment to do so because you're going to start uh, the engines you don't need to test the APU but you know you don't lose anything by doing that you have the child you have the uh, fire uh, extinguisher bottles uh, indication but you know this is the APU we just want to make sure that the engines are you know are covered by the fire system so let's try uh, engine number one with the chime both engine bottles let's try the second engine same thing happens we get the fire chime the light and the uh, and the uh, engine discharge uh, lights coming up with this we know that the engines are are secured uh, by the fire uh, by the fire systems so basically uh, what we're gonna do is uh, to hook up to the plane some external air source to that you go to the NCDU, you go to MCDU menu, you go to options, external controls and you hit the air starter, the air starter, alright? So first let me just hit the bleed in the system display so you will see a diagram of what's going on in here. Um, by the way let me tell you from now that we're gonna need to have the engine bleeds off in the engine number one. Basically when you plug the pressured air source into the plane is going to be connected to the uh, engine number one um, lead valves. So basically, from there, you will have you will have pressure air available for both the engine one and pack one. All right, you won't have any pressure either on pack two or the engine two because you don't have the uh, cross bleed valve open. All right, but for now, let's just follow the flows and we will see what happens. Okay. Uh, one more thing, make sure that your uh, uh, fuel pumps are turned on and hit the beacon on. Alright, so we connect your starter, which you see that there is pressure. You have uh, air pressure in engine number one and also on the packs. You uh, set the engine ignition selector to ignition start. It will cut off the packs, so you will have full pressure in the into the engine number one. So what you do is you enable engine number one. You fire it up, and eventually you will see N1 and N2 rising. As usual, for as long as there's no fuel flow and there's no combustion, temperature will drop. And eventually, once you get fuel flow, the temperature will increase. There you go. There you go, it's starting up. Engine 1 is available, so we get a good start. Now we're going to go for engine number 2, but the thing is that, like I said, we don't have pressure there over there. We need to open that, the cross bleed valve. Go over here, and we open up the cross bleed valve, but remember to open up the air bleed 1, because otherwise there will be no air going down uh, to the engine number 2. So first thing, we open engine 1 bleed, because engine 1 is available now. It can provide air by itself. There you go. Now we open up 
a cross split valve you see how the air goes from uh, engine number one to engine number two hold on a second we got the same message for the pressure that's normal I mean basically uh, we didn't set up our flight plan so therefore uh, the pressurization systems don't know where we're at, where we're going, and therefore it cannot calculate the differential pressure and the schedules on its own, and it's telling us that we need to do it by ourselves, but let's forget about that. So, uh, we get air coming from the engine one bleed, we have opened the valve, you can see it over here, and now engine number two has pressure. So all we do now is start engine number two, and engine number two will start rotating. Rotation and then two, and then one same drill as ever temperature will go down until you put some fill in fuel flow coming in EGT rising there you go Engine 2 is available, so we get engine 2 good start. So all we do now is uh, set the engine uh, mode selector to normal. We close the crossbleed valve, and now eventually the packs will start getting uh, the pressurized air from the bleeds of engine from you know from its respective engine. At the moment, the plane is fully operational. It's full. Uh, uh, it's. Uh, it's working on its own, it doesn't need external power anymore, so we can switch it off. And uh, what we do now, if you want, you can disconnect the earth starter, we don't need it anymore, and also you can disconnect the GPU, we don't need it either. We can cancel and clear everything in the system's display. And that's pretty much it. We get a good start using an earth starter or an external pressurized air source. I hope you find this video interesting, productive, that you might have, uh, you know, I just wish that you can learn something from that. Uh, if you like the be the video, just click the like, hit the subscribe if you want it. If you think that there's something that I should change or improve, just write it down over there. I will take it. Don't worry. So, for now, that's all. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.